Yo, what's up guys and welcome back for the next part of the Battle Factory Road to Top 10. We are doing our best to make it to the top. It's uh, It's been quite a journey. It's definitely been a journey, but um, I have no idea where we are. Well, I'll only check the ladder. Anyway, the music you guys are listening to is a Sell It On City remix by my boy Matt Houston. He did make it specifically for me though. I pay for it, so there's no... I'll, I'll link his channel because he has some great beats, but you ain't getting this beat. It's my beat. This is mine. Look at all the guys on $14.99. God, I just scrolled for like 10 minutes. I'm at $14.96, $155. I swear, I swear, guys, we will make it. We will make it somewhere, at least here. At least here. I swear. I, I will not end this episode until we make at least $15.30. $15.40, like, you know, I would hope for, but let's see. Okay, so they gave me. Focus sash cloister. Yeah, as usual, they give me this crappy sash set. I don't know why. Uh, I want to lead off with Empoleon. Empoleon matches up well versus Beedrill as well as Fortress lead. I really do want rocks. Pangor doesn't do much. I guess it helps. Huh. I wish they gave me a bulky crowbat in this game. I need to save cloister for late game just because uh, I can lose to Crook. And again, we should see. I'm gonna leave off on Napoleon though. I really like it because it's early rocks. It beats Grigalgi, it can beat Beedrill, beats Curum. Can be, pretty much this entire, these four mons, I can beat. Unless Kratos just wants to, you know, die again. Pretty sure Kratos is the one I'm talking I'm thinking about with uh that's the father of uh is that the father of like Zeus and um and them? If I'm not mistaken, I'm about to Google this. And there's the Beedrill lead, Kratos, father of Zeus. We're Googling, I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, Kronos, Kronos. Kronos. Kratos rejected any notion of relationship and vowed to kill Zeus and destroy Olympus. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about the wrong god. Kronos, okay, okay. God of War. Okay, whatever. And we're throwing off our Scald. I think that's better than giving up rocks. Because nothing on his team appreciates a burn. At all, and if I get a Brox and goes Fortress, he'll just spin them away. Whereas if I throw off a Skull, it gives me some potential right there to go around. I'll think about Kronos or Kratos. I don't even know. I don't even know what I just read. It says Sparta. It said some game. This is a perfect turn for me. This is absolutely what I wanted. Able to get the uh, Crocodile upon switching. It is bulky Crocodile though. So what I want to do is actually go out into my Cloister. Uh, though I did say I would use it. It would actually be for this Pokemon in particular. And because he is bulky, I'm pretty sure he's a Stealth Rock Setter. Which means Fortress more than likely spikes. And I can just Rapid Spin them away immediately. Yeah, he gets up his rocks right here. I don't care. I will spin these away right now. While keeping up my uh, Focus Sash. And if he wants to stay in, that's fine. He doesn't 2 KO me anyway. Yeah, there's Fortress. Nice. The rocks are gone. The rocks are gone. They are not here. They are gone. I kind of expect him to Volt Switch here. I think if I was him, I would Volt Switch, but I'm going to go out into my Empoleon anyway, just in case he opts to go for, um, just in case he opts to set up a spike. I think Volt Switch would be a good play, though, because Cloyster doesn't care. Like, he could always spin versus the majority of my team. In fact, he could spin versus all of my team. They didn't give me a Fortress Killer, except for Empoleon. I wish they did. Anybody seen them leaks? You know I have been on them leaks like crazy. I'm actually on VP right now. <laughs> I'm waiting for that game to leak. Um, also, I'm kind of up. It's actually like 2.21 in the AM. But the only reason I'm up is because I want to take uh, NyQuil to fall asleep. But I took DayQuil about three and a half hours ago. And I think you're supposed to take it like every four hours or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll wake up dead. Which means I wouldn't wake up. I'm about to get this thing out of the bag right now and read it right now. I'm about to put on my face cam too. You know, you guys can get with me. Understand this. Why that dude took 30 years to bring out Kirim? Alright, so the thing is, Kyurem doesn't kill me. With Earth Power, no way. I'm Max Bedef. I also live Focus Blast. And that has to be, yeah, Specs or Life Orb. So, we have to get up a Rocks as well as be in Torrent range. Now, I'm looking for my switching, and unfortunately, it doesn't exist. Uh, ever. Like, at all. Crap, man. So, I'm actually just going to sack my Pangoro to the Ice Beam. If he goes for Earth Power again, great. You know, if he didn't crit me, I guess the crit didn't matter. Uh, what I can do though is Swords Ant up just in case he randomly fears Scarf Pangoro. No? That probably would have been too much to ask for. What I am going to do is go out to Haxorus and actually double out into my uh, Empoleon, expecting him to go out into Fortress. The only reason I'm doing this is because I want to get off like a, a Torrent Boosted Scald. 
I would think he would switch out to Fortress. Fortress is a good check. I guess I expected too much of my opponent, though. Opted to stay in, even though Haxorus is faster than Kyurem. And now I'm in a pickle. I don't have a Fortress killer, man. I guess I just got to weaken with Haxorus and try and sweep him with uh, Honchkrow. I think that's the only way. Let's just roar as he roosts. Oh, this worked out for me. Nice. Give me something that I'm faster than. That's not it. I can go out to Crobat though, I can take a knockoff, I'm um, hoping he goes for Drain Punch, as he goes right for knockoff, and looks like he's banded, so I cannot tank it. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not good. I want to spike up, because what I can do is at least weaken Fortress with the Explosion as he stays in, so that's cool. Off to stay in, I can go for Ice Ghost Spear into Explosion, at least, and uh, prevent Fortress from Rapid Spinning. Which is pretty much what I wanted to do, and then get off a full power Scald. This isn't going to do anything. Oh, that crit. Oh, wait, wait. If they all crit, I might actually, potentially, in 10 years, do damage. Hold up. Hold up. Who the new dude? Alright, so, we can explode right here. Prevent him from rapid spinning. And then just get off a full power Torrent Boosted Scald. Nice. And if he wants to stay in, great. I'm still in Torrent. Scald should be able to knock it out at that range. I would love if it did. He actually stays in so great. We're able to get rid of Fortress while keeping up our hazards. We do have potential now to win. Actually, if I Dragon Dance up, I 100% win. <laughs> I actually win the game if I Dragon Dance up. Everything dies. Straight up, everything dies. Don't even... I just need the speed boost. Don't even need the attack raise. All right, this is Nyquil. I'm about to open up this bag. Let me read this. I'm not trying to kill myself. Uh, Dragalgi comes out. I don't see a reason not to Scald. I don't see any other play I can go for if he wants to get up a Toxic Spike, so be it. I do have a Lumberry, so I'm okay with that. In fact, if he pops my Lumberry, that means his knockoff isn't going to be doing crap anyway. Yeah, that's fine. That's actually fine. I just kind of want to roar him out, though. I'd rather have him bring in something like Pangoro. Please phase in Pangoro, as I unfortunately phase in the Crocodile. But maybe that's not so bad for me, because that means no Intimidate. So I'll take that. I'll throw off a Scald here as he goes right for knockoff. Actually, because my Lumber... Yeah, yeah, this is the... I think this is the perfect opportunity to Dragon itself because Lumber is going to activate, so my item is gone. I DD up and I kill everything. I definitely live any one hit he wants to go for. I Dragon Dance up. I get the speed. Perfect. He crits me on top of that. Beautiful. I'll take that. Oh, that sucks. What the hell? Don't do that to me. And we can just Quake right now. And everything that doesn't die to Quake dies to Outrage. All I needed was a speed. That way I could beat everything on his team. The hazards are up, friends. The hazards are up, and they are here. The hazards are up, and they are here. There is no way nothing nothing lives this. You going back out to Crocodile? That's fine, bro. I wish you didn't crit me. I would have dragged this up again. But I don't need to. I can just click Earthquake here. Knock out the Crocodile. If he wants to sack something else, that's fine. It doesn't matter how many times he gets the minus one Honchko sweeps in the back. That's all I needed. So, him getting up the T-Spike was actually better for me. <laughs> Call me Jambat. I wanted him to get up that T-Spike. <laughs> you know what Jambat did to me today, guys? I was, I was very upset. That man hopped on Skype in the Heat of Fiat group. You know, with me, CB, all them. Chip Act, all them. And he was like, I'm done, guys. It's been fun. Thank you, everybody. I was like, what the hell are you talking about, bro? Get out of here. Uh, I just want to see, I'm pretty sure 393 attack does kill Mega Beedrill at 64%. I just want to make sure, because I don't want to go for Outrage and have him protect and shenanigans like that. But I'm pretty sure Haxorus, you know, kills easily. Mega Beedrill, I don't even know why I'm calculating. <laughs> why did I even calculate this? Whatever, die. Goodbye! And now we just click Outrage. Outrage should at neutral kill Pangoro after the hazards, and it definitely kills Kirim. In fact, if he goes Kirim first, it's choke. Can I open up this back? Okay, so it definitely should kill Pangoro at that range. I'm praying it does. Actually, if it doesn't, is it smarter to switch out? I think it... Ugh, I'll calc this too. Hello, we have the technology. Where's my Outrage? Where's my power? Outrage. Like Lance, I don't stand a chance. All right, that's 79 to 93. I'm gonna randomly assume he's max HP. All right, in case he's max HP, this is the best play, switching out. 
Okay, well, that didn't make a difference now because he has Ice Punch. I thought he would Drain Punch there. I didn't know Ice Punch was an option. Uh, either way, I'm faster than Kira. I might just click Outrage here. So, uh, I guess if he's not max HP, I knock him out anyway. Yeah. So, it wasn't really a throw because I knocked him out anyway. I thought he would Drain Punch, which Hodgkin could take. And then I could force him to Brave Bird and sack either Kira or that. And then I just click Outrage because I already know I'm faster than this anyway because I am Jolly. So, that will be game. Nice. Ah, able to come through. All right, we are 15-11, my friends. We are 15-11. Can we just win two more games? Two or three more games? Can I open up this bag? Why is this bag impossible? Get another UU game, too. I swear. I swear. I tied this bag. I, by all that is holy, I summon fish molt. Where is this? Open this up. This is impossible. If, if, if there was a face cam right now, you Okay, I got it. I did it. First try. First try, too. I did it. I did it. Right, we got NyQuil and we got DayQuil in here. Shout out to my girlfriend. Let me borrow hers, because I did not go out to the store and get any. Let's see. Cold and flu, nighttime relief. Ooh. Alright, so I have Gar he has Gyarados, and I don't have an answer to that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's always fun. Doesn't have a good answer for my Gligar, though. Why am I not so deaf? Hello! Uh, also, extremely weak to Slurpuff. Is there any way I could stop that monster? No, no, that's fine. I don't, want, I don't want to check for it anyway. I want to get off of Crocodile because Crocodile matches up well versus pretty much a lot of his team. As you can see, he doesn't have good amenities to this. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to knock off here. So it should kill. I'm assuming because I'm max HP, I can also tank one hit. Just one. And I really want to click knock off here. Especially if it's Gyarados. So, great. He is Specs and I have lost my Crocodile, which means the rocks are gone. That's always fun. But then again, Crocodile didn't really outspeed anything, and Snorlax kills everything. Sounds like my boy CDB. The, the main reason I didn't want to go Snorlax, though, is because I didn't want to weaken it, man. As Gyarados comes out, and I am still looking for my answer. Uh, thankfully, uh, I believe it's Blastoise. <laughs> Getting off the damage on Shandler is great because it does die to rocks at 25%. It's such a tough game, though, man. I need a burn Scald. Goes right for Waterfall. As he should. He doesn't have good answers to... I hate when they give me these crappy speed tiers. What the hell is this? I want to double out to Kobali on predicting Tentacle because that's one mod I can actually set up on, but... I think I'm just going to pulse. Because I can't risk him dragging anything up and going for, like, bounce or something. Yeah, there's a Tentacle. Um, but like I said, this is one mod I could potentially call mine up on. My Sharpedo could maybe do some fluff like game, but I want to bring it directly in. I want to see if he toxic bikes or not as he throws off a Scald. Let's see if he burns. He does indeed burn me. That's always nice. I'm actually lying. Okay, so I expect him to toxic spike here because it's, I'm already burnt. Like, what can you do to me? As he goes for knockoff. So this has worked out better because maybe I can bluff something right there. About my life orb. I don't know. I will calm mine up. He could go out to Gyarados if he wants to, but I want to calm mine up because... One, his skull isn't going to be doing crap. He does not burn me either, which is great. I need damage. I need another boost. I need to be able to kill Gyarados in two hits. Or even that's Tentacle, which is probably going to live everything. But basically, with the Combine boost up... Yeah, there's the Gyarados in here. What the hell do I do to... See, th I think Focus Blast to a kill. But I know for a fact I'm not going to hit this. But I'm going to try. There it is. And he's Spadef Roar Gyarados. Oh, that's great. That's dandy. It's all fine and dandy. Go ahead and catch this crunch. I did nothing. Alright, watch this. I am about to predict this waterfall immaculately. Sleep talk right here. Sleep talk right here. Go ahead and sleep talk right here. Come on. Get the sleep talk waterfall. Give me this. Ugh. Not what I wanted. I don't know if I can win this game. Maybe with Crook, even with Crook, I don't even think Crook would do anything. Alright, well, we throw a Skull Tear. Try to get the burns on the Tentacruel. Give me something to work with. Please. I gotta do it again. Because at least Gligar can 1v1 everything, except for Gyarados, man. I can't beat Gyarados. I don't think anything on my team can beat Gyarados. I really, what I really needed, man, was him to get Waterfall there and for me to just, you know, get the Destiny Bond, kill the Gyarados, opens up the door for my uh that just opens up a huge door for my um 
for what's it called? For my Cobalion. I'm gonna wrap this in here. I don't wanna get into the T spike. Actually, T spike, does that even matter? Not really. I'll just pulse again. Alternatively, I could just Skull. I think Skull is fine. Skull doesn't kill him if he does get up a T spike. It also hits something as well. And I can always wrap it spin away, so I don't really care. Um, alternatively, as well, I could also go for Dark Pulse here, predicting the Chandelure. And I think. Uh, Rapsin's so obvious. I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse. I don't want. Rapsin's so obvious, right? Like, that doesn't even matter that I'm get poisoned. I'll do it anyway. I'm glad I didn't uh, go against myself there because now at least I'm not poisoned on my Snorlax and I still have a few sacks. How do I beat that? I don't know how to beat uh, Gyarados. I don't know how to beat... I hope it's not too bad. I guess I can always try and get the uh, the Destiny Bun off. That would have been so clean there though if it actually worked out in that, predictor mo in that particular moment. Excuse me. So I'll just pulse here as the opposite Shadow Ball. And what I can do is go right back out into my uh, Snorlax, and he's probably just going to stay in, but Pursuit is going to do a lot anyway. God, you guys remember when I wore an Assault Vest, and it did nothing? But we are able to ho kill Hoopa, which is nice. Um, Kobalion is faster than Chandelure. I'm assuming he's going to go out to Slurpuff. He goes Lucario, which is fine, because I can go out into my Gligar. Gligar also kind of walls. Doubles into Chandelure, which is a good play. But... I mean, I double right back out on the Snorlax, don't I? Yeah, that's fine. You ain't knocking me out with nothing now. But now he gets a set up. <laughs> so what I actually do is sack Sharpedo here. I can't let him set up with his... Uh, I can't let him set up with his Slurpuff. So I sack Sharpedo. I go out to Cobalion. I click HP Ghost to knock out the Chandelure. Basically, you have me doing this, I don't allow Slurpuff to come in and set up. He actually has to go into his uh, Gyarados now, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure. Yep, there's the Gyarados. Just gonna calm mind up, just in case he doesn't do anything to me. I mean, he's not gonna do anything to me anyway. And then we just go for a uh, Flash Cannon here, because why not? He can only roar me out anyway. Get Spadef Chops anyway. Yeah, there's a the phase. Phase up. <laughs> and what we can do is just go for some body slam pairs. I do live one waterfall. You're able to get off a nice body slam. No para though. I bet you Gligar lives. Uh, yeah, Gligar is my play. I gotta go for Toxic here too. I don't know what to do. Like, yeah. Smart of him to go slurp off. Because that was like his only chance to do this, but I'm pretty sure I live any hit if he belly drums up or he's calm mind. Okay. I mean, I beat this 1v1 too. Isn't it like Resto Chesto? Yeah, that's why I go for another Toxic. Hey. Now I just hope I eat this up. Slurp off is very weak. I assume I do. Oh my god, that did nothing. Oh god, I did actually nothing. Yeah, so now we just roost up. And 1v1 with the poison. If he ever wants to sleep, I'm fine. If pretty much if he ever uh if he ever clicks rest, I'm good. I want an earthquake here just in case he calm mines up again. As he goes to Gyarados, smart play, but I don't think that matters. I have hypercutter as well, so no intimidate drop. I just got Toxic him. God, there's a crit. Let's see the flinch. Nope. That boy is on a timer. Let's see if he can roost up through this. Nice. So he should eventually rest. Uh, I'm going to keep Gligar alive just because it can still beat Lucario. As he does rest there. I pretty much have to go for like Spadef drops and whatnot. Like, they didn't give me a tool for beating Gyarados. My only one was that Destiny Bond, and I really hope, I wish that tech worked, but it didn't. And there's the Calm Mine. Or, excuse me, the Roar into Calm Mine. And I can't even, I mean, I guess I'm not wasting any PP, which is fine, but... Still, it doesn't help me. I really wish they gave me the tools to beat this guy. And that did too much damage, so I need a spadef drop. I need to focus blast to hit. I need spadef drops. I need damage. 
Okay, give me a super crit. Yeah, because I actually cannot beat this. I'm actually hitting all my focus blasts though, which is pretty cool. But now I go out to Gligar and I roost up. Yeah, that's a good game. Didn't like I said, I think my only way of beating this was with the Sharpedo Destiny Ball and on the waterfall. Because other than that, I don't think I had a way. And the second he rests, I'm like, in a, I, I mean, I go for defog, obviously, because like, I can't let him stall me out. And if I get flinched, I lose 100%. But we have not, we have not lost yet. Thing is, he actually stalls me out. I don't know if he'll actually go for it, but he does stall me out with, um, with his waterfalls. But we'll see. Let's see if he actually opts to go for it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, I have to spam defog here. At least he can't dodge toxic anymore. Nice. So he's not going to dodge Toxic at least. And I could just go right for that right now. On his wake up as he goes for a couple of waterfalls. There's a crit. Let's see if he gets a flinch. No flinch. But that crit did put me in a position to lose right now if he does flinch me. Let's see if he gets it. There's a flinch. Good game. Yeah. Like I said. I mean I already mentioned it a couple times. My only tool for beating Gyarados was getting the destiny bond kill on it and i needed to obviously go off his own luck for that and if he got waterfall there gyarados died and kobalion straight up swept but the one time you know they give your opponent a rest talk uh a rest talk gyarados doesn't work it's all right though i already knew the dream would be crushed immediately where are we anyway 1480 once again amazing that's where we started that's why i can't uh, that's why this is so tough man the matchups are so tough and i'm doing what i can like i'm doing the best i can i think at least try my best like even if i didn't lose uh crocodile turn one and let's say i got up rocks i don't know how much that mattered per se because gyarados was always resting on all of my members like literally all of my members so yeah i don't i don't know even if i got up rocks even if i was able to knock off an item like Maybe if I knocked off an item, got to plus two, and then he never got Roar with Sleep Talk. Maybe two Cobalion Focus Blast can knock it out. Who knows? Obviously, we're just going to look for another one, though. I'm still enjoying the Battle Factory Road to Top 10, even though it's probably one of the most stressful. And it's crazy because Sun and Moon is literally right around the corner. So if I want to do this, I probably have to grind like crazy and just hope that the matchups are not so insane for me. Because right now, Top 10 is 1580. And I'm 100 points, literally 100 points away. I guess if I did a lot of stuff off screen, but the thing with this is also I'm not doing anything off screen. I did like a couple games off screen just because I randomly was signed into my account, so I started playing Battle Factory. But like, the thing with Battle Factory is it's so fun, but I get so frustrating certain matchups. But then again, I like that as well because you you're forced to play a certain way. Where are my leaks at, man? Where the hell are my leaks at? <laughs> But yeah, you're forced to play a certain way, and um, I think that's what makes it really, you know, fun to do as a challenge, but at the same time, extremely tough. What should I say, man? Ah. But in any case, this is taking way too long. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, oh man, Kphotix just tweeted... A picture, a picture of him. I'm letting you guys know. Kafash's picture uh, tweeted a picture of him, um, of him with a pop Leo. The hackers have a copy of the game. I repeat, the hackers have a copy of the game. The hackers have a copy of the game, guys. The game is ours. The game is actually ours soon. The game is actually ours. The game is ridiculously ours. I cannot wait. I am so hype. Okay, I actually need this game now. I actually need this game now. Uh, where the hell are the battles? Oh my god. Look at this Murkrow. My boy is chilling. I'm about to watch a battle. We're about to watch a battle right now. Who else is playing Battle Factory? Right, there's six different dudes playing Battle Factory. I'm about to watch the high. Oh man, he... Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Miss? No? Good game. Who else? That boy lost. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Nice lava plume. All right. Awesome. Awesome lava plume. I think 
Thomas Lloyd can still uh, win depending on his Gengar set. Then again, he didn't get off any damage. Thank God I got this guy. All right. Yeah. Pa Palma, bro, you lost, dude. There, you lost. All right, so let's see. Charizard answers. Hmm. Uh-huh. Also, my Charizard answer is not getting burnt by will o with Electivire. And not losing Acrobatics. Scarf Scyther. That's a good lead versus this team. Matches up well. I love when they give my opponent Miltank and I don't see anything for me to handle it. Oh, you turn on out of there. It's my best play right now. Fizz Death Miltank. Amazing. What I can do is go out to camera up and at least get on my rocks. He, he does have a defogger, but the thing is if he defogs them, he gets them away from me too. I'm hoping he doesn't have Earthquake. I'm assuming it's Body Slam, Soft Boiled, uh, Heal Belt, Milk Drink. So, hard into Zard. What are you doing to me? I'm going to Toxic you. You you are a threat. Get this monster out of here. My Bisharp can maybe win. Yeah, there's a will o -Wisp, I figured. So, thankfully, I land the Toxic on the turn he decides to will o -Wisp. Do I have Roar in this set, too? Oh, that would have been too perfect. That would have been way too good. Acrobatics is coming. This Pokemon helps me so much with Ninetales, so I can't sack this. I'm going to go Skuntank right here as he goes Basculin. I pretty much expected him to go for the SD, and what I was hoping to do was uh, let him knock me out, get the Aftermath, and put him in range of Scyther's attack. But this works out for me as well. This is 60, 120. This is, one, uh, this is 120 as well, but this has a chance to flinch, but this is powered up by the extra belts. I said this is 120 because it is 120. HP Grass. Don't have Sap Sipper. I never know what set they have on this. Why? Hold up. Wait, you're, you're Fizz Death. Die. Die. One more. Mill take the mask. I swear when you die. Die. Just die. Tough man to deal with. I don't want to deal with this thing. Get out of here. I'm fine with that. Don't pair me. No. Why? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hey, take the aftermath, bro. Yes, let's go. And to make sure you never, ever, ever come back, I choose you Electivire. I'm just going to click Ice Punch because it hits Lilligan if he randomly wants to go out to that. Also, we'll be able to knock him out because we know he's Sap Sipper and not Thick Fat. It just pretty much hit <laughs> his entire team. Um, not necessarily for good damage, but I just want to knock him out. Miltank, I love you. You're my friend. But I need you going. Basculin comes out. Still searching for my counters. Wild Charge, here we go. I don't have an answer to this. Thankfully, my opponent doesn't really have an answer to Scyther. Now, by me clicking Aerial Ace here, I'm guessing that it knocks out Basculin. And it also 2 it kills everything on his team. So, thankfully Zard is dead. Great one thing for Bisharp, or Ponyard, excuse me. Now all he has left is Basculin, Ninetales, and everything else. Ha ha ha. I can go out to camera up here, though. Camera definitely eats up any attacks Skuntang wants to go for. If you want to defog, that'd be fine as well. We confirm that he is special because he does have Fire Blast, and I do not see an Earth Power or Earthquake switching. Excuse me. Lilligant. You are fine, but you are not a counter. I actually just want him to put my Polyar to sleep. I don't think Polyar is going to be doing much. Then again, it's tough to say, but I feel like this is the right play because I can now go out to Muck and get my kill. He goes out to Ninetales. You will not be able to knock me out. Not even Psy Shock. I'm going to... Uh, this Poison Jab kill. I, Gunk Shot definitely kills 100%. I'm going for it. Whatever. Hit this. Nice. Able to land on the Alolan Ninetales. Not yet. <laughs> Soon. Soon. Able to knock out Ninetales though, which is perfect. I'm assuming he might actually be Scarf Lilligant. Basculin is going to come out. Yeah, I might have messed up. Hold up. Crap, man. Uh, that's not good. Okay, he jetted for some reason. Uh, I definitely made... Yeah, that, that wins. <laughs> why, why did I say for some reason? He definitely wins by going for that. But there's a few plays he can m mess up here, though. Um, by me, at least going out to Ponyard, I do... I do at least put him in range of potentially losing to sleep. 
So I'm going to suck a punch here, assuming I wake up or hoping I wake up as we do get it. We're able to knock out Lilligant. Nice. I think that was the only plays I could go for. Skuntank is going to come out. All I got to do is sack my Scyther. Solid play on my opponent's part. Very solid play, but I don't think it makes a difference. So I'm going to Aerial Lace. He has to go for Aqua Jet. Very good play on my opponent's part. I can now go out to Pawnyard though. And the thing is, he has to get 50-50s right, and I don't. I click knockoff here 100%. Because like I said, he has to get the 50-50s right. I don't. I even got a crit. That's a nasty crit. I would 100% switch out here. Because I'm spadef. deaf. Yeah. That crit actually hurt him. But he has to not flinch me if I want to win. Alright, basically what I have to do is I have to see 100% what Bastion locks itself into if I want to win, if I don't want to do it off of 50-50. So I have to break through here, as that is not the case. <laughs> don't say sorry. Uh, and now we Sucker Punch. Knock him out, but then we take Aftermath, and then it comes down to do I live Aqua Jet? <sighs> Which I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, Basculin, but then I gotta get a 50-50 right now. God, I hate that. Choice ban. So I 100% live this. I just gotta get this 50-50 right, whatever. Let's assume he's going for Aqua Jet. Nice, I got it right. And we are able to knock him out with knockoff and then that's a good game. Alright, perfect. It's a good game. Nice, 6 points. That's it. That's it. That's all I got out of that. 6 points. That was one of my subs, Kitsune. I was gonna tell him find a battle. So, uh, we got Ryu here, but that dude has Doug Show. That's not fair. <laughs> that boy banned. No. No, 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 no. We're going to lead Uxie because it just maxes up so well. I just assume he thinks the exact same thing, which is true. Uxie just maxes up very well versus our teams. Uh, I can definitely win with Curse, Registeel, but I got to get rid of, not necessarily Doug Show, but I got to get rid of Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee is definitely too big of a threat for me to deal with. Nice. You already know what I'm going for right here. Did I, need I explain? No. I nescent. What did I just say? I nescent. Um, if he goes Absol here, that's completely fine because I can go out to him on top and just wrap it, spin away the hazards. What the hell is this play? All right. Well, we're side shocking twice. You want to? What? Are, what are you doing? Yeah, you just let your Doug Shield take damage. I don't know what he's doing. I, I, you, I don't know. I'm actually just going to U-turn just in case he goes Absol because I want to get some momentum. As he goes, Uxie. That's fine. Uh, I kind of don't think CB Galay knocks it out, but if I can get rid of Uxie, it's just an annoyance. And he doesn't have a knockoff switching. Yeah, he dies to Rock, so that's fine. As he Thunderways me. I'm still slower, so I'll actually get off a choice band and knock off on whatever comes out, which is beautiful. If he wants to go out to his Justified mo wait, wait, wait. Get off this, yes. Nice. Something that Registeel might have had a problem with is gone, and Uxie is gone. This is beautiful. I don't even care if Dugtro comes out. There's the Pokemon I was waiting for. I do, however, have my Hitmon on top. And I do not see a Fighting Resist left on his team because Uxie dies to rocks. So I don't even have to prioritize Rapid Spinning. I just click close Combat here, no matter what. I guess a Psy Shock, Psycho Cut, Crit Cut Kill. Maybe. Yeah, there's the Uxie. Nice, dead beautiful so this this worked out way better than i thought like no matter what x plow comes out as it should we're actually just gonna sack our Gallade. Gallade doesn't beat anything now i'm pretty sure knock off from absolute knocks it out and him only is gonna tweak you anyway there's the boom burst well they call me young registeel I believe I just want to curse up just in case he goes out to Duck Trail first. Uh, so we tank his attack a lot better and can just knock him out with Iron Head. You know, sub. I bet I stall this guy out if I curse up enough. If he does sub, trying to get into like reversal range or something, I think he's just sub Life Orb. But like, I I'm getting a good situation right here. Unless he crits. Don't, why did I say that? Because it does give him multiple chances to crit, but even then. Like, why are you not attacking me? Yeah, there you go. That did a lot. 
able to knock out Dugshiro. Nice, nice, nice. Now, Acrobatics might be able to clean up, but it's just the Absol is still a problem. Him only has to come out here, though. He goes out to x Blood, so he definitely has to go for Overheat or Fire Blast. I'm just going to rest, though. Because I live any hit he wants to go for, yeah. And I get to scout it as well. Ooh, creamy. Might as well just sleep talk. That boy's playing around with Focus Blast. Is that even to a kill? All right, that boy, that boy is getting a little bit lucky. That boy is hitting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'll save um, Reggie just because it's something that could take Boom Burst as well and just weaken x -Plout. What I can do is just U-turn here. 100%. If he wants to go for Focus Blast again, fine. He goes Absol, so that's great. I actually do want to wrap him away the rocks just because... Um, that way my Fletch doesn't die to a potential... Uh, even though he doesn't have any fighting switches at all. Uh, basically, so Fletch doesn't die to potentially Sucker Punch from like Unburden him only or something like that. As he goes hit only right now, so nice. I could have killed it with a close combat. Look how much Rabbitsman did, but I opted not to, obviously. What I can do is go route to Uxie. It's my answer. As he rapid spins away the rocks as well, I don't think that matters at all. I actually think he's scarfed, so I'm going to go for U-turn one more time. Yep. Beautiful. And what I can do is actually just go out to Vivalon. And what Vivalon does is it gets off damage on x I, I went just with, like, clicking Acrobatics, so I was fine with that. Yeah, x comes out. All I gotta do is Hurricane this. Hit this. Nice. And then all I gotta do is go for the, uh... Ooh, he, he hit himself. You think I take this Boom Burst? I doubt it. Yeah, I was thinking after Quiver, do you think I'd take a Boom Burst? But I severely doubt it. Himalaya's gonna come out. Has to lock himself in, like, Stone Edge or something if he wants to knock me out. That doesn't beat my team. Like, he loses. But his Jump Kick's gonna do a lot if he goes for it. Knock. Yum. And we are gonna be able to knock him out with the Hurricane, and that is gonna be game. Beautiful. So we are 1501. Please, let's keep this up. I'm gonna get another game. Well, I know we had 36 minutes, but like that one loss and the fact that one game, it, it, there was like five minutes in between. That's why I think OBS would be the perfect like free product if it had a pause fe uh, feature. Mm. Yeah, because like. Cause like, like right, right here, we can talk about things, you know, we can talk about our day. Okay, okay. Here, I have, I have a common question of the day. I haven't done any of these in ever. Maybe once during the cage lock. Um, or a couple times during the cage lock. I want to know, what is the thing you guys are most excited for in Sun and Moon? Me personally, what am I most excited for? Outside of, you know, the new story and, you know, everything changing. I'm actually pretty excited about the anime itself. This has been my first time in years getting back into that. I actually want to do little reviews on that on the channel as well. Because uh, I think it'd be really fun. I actually love the animation as well. I don't... Like, I know some people don't like it, but I actually like it a lot. I love the animation, actually. So, this should be fun. Thankfully, they gave me this thing, which puts it in work. And Absol, which puts it in work. Jolteon, which destroys. Especially lead off a Seism Toad. And they gave me a spinner as well. Oof. And a Pursuit Trapper too? Hold up. SD Pursuit? The tech? I think I actually have a good matchup. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My voice is like dying right now. But by the time I finish this, it will be enough time to the point where I can take my Nyko. Hey, I figured it was you. Esteban is uh, he's a new sub of mine. On Twitch. Have fun, friend. Ah, that should be clean. Oh, this should be a good game. I'm excited. I'm excited. I actually feel like I, I don't have a bad matchup for once. And, you know, that's different in Battle Factory. Okay, so his rocker might be aired. Wow. <laughs> He's rocker. Okay, shut up, voice. I can't wait till I fully recover too. That's another thing. Like I want Sun and Moon, but I want to recover too. I really want rocks up, man. Is it worth the burn? I feel like he's gonna knock off for Willow is here. I'm gonna go Fletch. Uh Fletch doesn't do too much versus his team. In my opinion. In my opinion, anyway. 
Flesh doesn't do that much versus his team, so. I rather go out to that and just start spreading will o -Wisp. Plus, if he wants to will o -Wisp himself, I'm in a good position. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> All good, you got time. Uh, if he does double back out, that's fine. I'm not gonna let my Sizem Toe get burnt or poisoned. Sizem Toe is way too important in this game. It does check Amistar. Yeah, there's Alan Mola. I kind of figured that was coming. Right, he's more than likely gonna Toxic here. And what I want, actually want to do is go him on top and get off my own Toxic. He has no Heal Ball support on his team. Potentially. So I'll go him on top and I'll get off a Toxic. As he throws off a Scald. Doesn't get the first burn, which is nice. And what we can do is toxic, whether it be Bayonet, whether it be Hoopa. If it's actually Hoopa, I go hard into Drapion anyway, no matter what Hoopa set it is. And I click Pursuits. Only thing that would might knock out Drapion is like Specs Focus Blast. I think even then it's a roll. That what just happened. My bad. I don't know what just happened to my screen. Anyway, we are able to hit the Alan Molo, which is pretty cool. Um, I just want to double toxic. Because I don't think he has very many. I think he doesn't have very many options. I'm gonna keep clicking it. Like, I don't care. Something's getting toxic. Something will get toxic. Longer he stays in, pretty much if I die and he stays in, I put him in range of pursuit and then Drapion kills it. So Alamol is dead. So no matter what, my, sh my hit my top, side to side. Hey, hey, hey. I am clicking toxic right now, no matter what. Bring something out. Bring something out right now. I dare you. Go. Go, Hooba. That clean remix too. I love it. All right, so I think he, he could stay in and click squad if he wants to, but like I said, I don't think it matters too much. Versus me. There's Aerodactyl, so I'm assuming this is Aerial Ace. Ooh, excuse me, a little bit of lag right there. Sorry, another screen just opened up by accident. And what we can do is go out into our Seismic Toad, and I think just start laying up some rocks, because he's definitely Aerial Acing right here. That does nothing. And he's Life Orb as well. Every Life Orb hit... Now, while I said Fletch doesn't do much versus him, every Life Orb hit, every Poison Touch, or Poison Turn, every bit of Toxic, it becomes harder for him to win. Now, while Seismetoe does do stuff, I'd much rather get rid of Alan Mola's um, helmet slash leftovers. What the hell was it running back here? Leftovers, yeah. I'd much rather get rid of that. That way it lacks recovery. And this works out perfectly for me because he doubles out into Amistar. So not only are we able to get rid of its item, um, which is the Focus Sash, so it's confirmed that it's lead Amistar. Because of that defense drop, we can 100% knock it out with this Earthquake. So while he does get up rocks, the Amistar is dead. And again, another answer to Fletch, just being weakened. Just straight up weekend. Um, and again, he doesn't have very many options for this outside of like Hoopa. Though with Rocks up, Hoopa's scary. Uh, but just having these all weekend, putting them on timers with that Toxic, basically also means Sucker Punch Wars won't be as hard. Though Aerodactyl obviously has pressure. Uh, pretty sure that one was a nerve. Let me see. Yeah, I'm a nerve. Great. So it doesn't have pressure. A nerve is really cool. I love that ability. Bayonet does come out. I don't think he'd will o wisp when I already showed Fletch. I think he'd go for like knockoff or something. I'd rather go out to uh, my Absol. Yeah, and I get a justified boost. So even if he burns me, he's going to be taking a ton of damage. And I'll go for my own knockoff right here. This is plus one. If he wants to burn me will o wisp that's fine. Nothing else would knock me out. Oh, that's great. Yeah, get rid of this mod for me. Good. Ben, it's annoying. I hate... I don't hate it. I just don't like facing it. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. A little cough in there. I think him on top is pretty fair right now because I can definitely rapid spin versus anything outside of Hoopa. I didn't want to go Jolteon just in case he goes out to potentially Scarf Flygon. What I actually want to do is knock off Flygon with my either Shookaberry Mon or uh, pretty much that, yeah. So what I will do is go hard into my Drapion. If he goes for sub, he goes for sub. Uh, alternatively... I gotta keep Fletch alive though because what it does is it doesn't let him. I already knew you were like 10 steps ahead. 
Uh, by keeping Fletch alive, it means you can't click Earthquake at the same time. Does that matter much? Eh. Cause I want to keep him on top because it can rapid spin. Fletch is still good. Yeah, I'm definitely going Drapion. I don't care if he Focus Blast. That has to hit too. It goes for sub. I see leftovers, so I don't know what its set is, which means I can go for knockoff here. If he wants to switch, something loses its item. Aerodactyl will die. That's definitely not killing me. And now we can just click pursuit. Whether he stays in or switches out, it will kill him. And killing Hoopa means I can wrap spin away as well the hazards. Peace. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Wow. <coughs> wow. Pardon me, I need some water. Water. I got some Poland Spring over there. But that's kind of been there for a little while. I actually don't rem I don't remember that bottle being there. That's been there for a couple... <laughs> I'm not drinking that Poland Spring. <laughs> I love Poland Spring, but I'm not drinking that Poland Spring. Aerodactyl comes out. As he's going to edge me and knock me out. I am positive... I hit him on top, lives a hit. It's Aerodactyl, and with Poison, his own life form, and Rapid Spin, I will be able to knock him out, so I'm just going to go for it. Just get rid of these hazards. I also knew that Seismitoad would take a hit, but I want to keep Seismitoad healthy, just because the uh, just because Flygon could be a threat, and if I knock it off, it's dead. It's potentially dead. So I just click Close Combat here. As he goes to Alamola, good play. As he should. But now we just go out to uh, Jolteon on the Scald. Nice burn, nice burn. And the thing is, if he protects here, he's in a bad situation anyway. So I double out to Sizem Tony because it's 100% my best play. If he protects, he's taking more poison damage. And he goes flag on to get a knockoff. As he actually opts to wish. Wow. So best play is going right back out to him on top. Because I don't allow him to poison me. Sorry about that. I actually turned on my mic because I was coughing. And I can just keep clicking this close combat. Aerodactyl 100% dies. So there's one switch in. And now all we got to do is get the uh, plays right versus Flygon. We'll find out right now actually what type of Flygon he is. If it's Life Form, I won. But the burn on the mole is a little bit annoying. So we'll definitely just CC here. That is so much. God. What the hell? <coughs> Crap. It's happening again. I swear I'm recovering though. So we can go hit my top. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Jolteon. And we click HP Ice here. That man is outplaying me. Kinda though, it's kinda like outplaying because at this point I still go out to him on top. I think I'm still fine. Yeah. You know what? I had enough. I'm winning this right now. <laughs> I don't die to scald ever. Uh if he goes flag on, he takes a plus two. I win. I had enough. Yep, everything dies. I don't think wishing was the play. I think going for crit was. But that's dead, and there's no way that Flygon can beat all my mons. I'm surprised he never protected with Alamola. But if Flygon somehow manages to live this, it doesn't matter because Seismitoad was at full and it won in the end. So we actually managed to get to 1508. I said I wanted to get to 1530, but we're at about 50 minutes, and oh my god, it takes so long to find a battle. Maybe we'll go we'll go one more. We'll go one more. Actually, no, no, no. I'm just going to end it. I'm gonna end it. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I got to end it. I'm starting to die. So, anyway, I hope you guys all enjoy. Feel free, of course, to leave me your thoughts on Sun and Moon, what you are most hyped for, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.